Welcome back everyone. With March Madness in full swing, Arizona men's basketball look to continue their run to a national championship tonight against TCU. Our own Scott Gross and Cole Johnson join us from Viejas Arena in San Diego with a postgame report. Good evening from the Viejas Arena on the campus of San Diego State. Scott Gross along with Cole Johnson. And what a thrilling end to four days of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, no better way to end the first weekend of the tournament here in 2022 than an overtime thriller between a one seed and a nine seed. I mean, it was just an incredible basketball game. And the way that ended to end the first weekend and to have 16 teams left, what a way to go out. These teams have not met since 1952. This was only the third meeting between the two. TCU won both meetings back in 1939 and back in 1952. Arizona looking to change things tonight. Didn't look very good early on. TCU jumped out to an 8 nothing run. Yeah, it was a game of runs all the way from the opening tip until the final horn. Both teams got their, their piece. It was TCU coming out of both halves, though. 8-0, like you said. Arizona finally settled down and kind of got the, got the hang of things, got their offense, and it was a huge battle down low on both ends. It was Eddie Lampkin of, uh, for the Horned Frogs and then Christian Coloco for the Wildcats. It was just a, such a good battle. He had 18 in the first half, and that's really where the turn of the tide was. But the game of runs, and then TCU came out in the second half, big two, 11-2 run. They went up six two different times, but Arizona kept battling, and that's just a, a classic one versus nine matchup there. What a fight for the Horned Frogs, even though they came out short. And it was a battle for both teams. It did not look like a number one versus a number nine, even though Arizona led by three at the half. TCU came back. They led by six twice in the second half. They went on a, I believe, an 11-0, 12-0 run to give themselves a little bit of cushion near the end and then battling back. Then it was the Pac-12 Player of the Year and Outstanding Player of the Tournament, Benedict Matherin, who put the team on his shoulders multiple times in the second half. Yeah, it wasn't just one time, like you said. It was multiple, and that's not that we're not messing around about that. He took over in that second half, especially late in the second half of the second half, hitting the game tying three with just 14 seconds left. That's why we went to overtime, and then he took over again in the overtime period as well. Milliseconds before regulation ended, Dalen Terry uh, had a slam dunk, but just too late before the light went on and the yeah. buzzer went off, we went to overtime, and again the Wildcats would be led. By guess who? Matherin and Coloco. They got it done. A three pointer and then a missed three by Matherin, cleaned up by Coloco. 85 80, the final. Arizona, they win. They advance to the Sweet 16 with an 85 80 win. They will now play Houston next Thursday, and they're returning to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2017. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, this team hasn't even been in the tournament since 2018 because of all of the all the po the postseason bans coming through this program. And just to come out like this in Tommy Lloyd's first season, it's just been an incredible run. And they'll they'll get a good uh, Houston Cougars team um, later this week for sure. No coach in his first year has ever won an NCAA national championship, unless you include Steve Fisher who was an interim coach for the 1989 Michigan Wolverines. That wasn't a full season. One more week to go. The Arizona Wildcats survive. They will be in San Antonio later on this week. From San Diego, for Cole Johnson, I'm Scott Gross for KYMA Sports.